George, you spent a lot of time with Manny getting ready for this fight, uh, training, holding mitts for him, uh, doing everything and anything that needed to be done. You went to uh, Sacramento with him early for the fight. Uh, you were with him there throughout the entire fight. Obviously, you were in his corner. Uh, you were with him probably, I think, for a week, 24-7, basically. Uh, you saw him win that amazing fight on that even uh, more momentous day. And, uh, you know, he's getting his uh, chance at the title. And now he's back in, L back in L.A., back in Glendale, back at home. Uh, we, we all came here to, to this restaurant today to celebrate his victory. What does all of this mean to you? And, uh, you know, how does it feel doing what you've done all this time? It feels, I mean, it feels, it feels great. You know, I've known Manny since we're 16, 17 years old. We started playing soccer together. And, you know, throughout the years, I've, you know, I've seen how hard he works at everything. You know, he's, he's always working, he's always pushing. He's always trying to learn. He's always trying to do something better, you know, trying to make himself better. Learning this, learning to how to box. And like I said, you know, in the earlier interviews, it's, it's, he keeps, you know, with all, you know, with all his accomplished, the guy just stays so humble all the time. It's like, you know, just anything you say, he's like, oh, okay, you know, I'm going to do this your way. I'm going to do this because it was a collective effort. It was, you know, it was me, it was Edmund, it was Gokor, it was Roman. It was all this training partner, it was Sean, Karen, Sebak, I could go on and on. I mean, it's, I, mean it, I was in shock. After the fight, I was, I was in shock. I mean, he was, he was looking at me, he was laughing at me. He was like, oh, Chris, on him. You know, I'm like, bro, because you did, you know, you did exactly what you're supposed to do. You know, you didn't, you didn't throw anything wild. You did exactly what we worked on and, you know, you got what you deserved. So, I mean, as far as Mr. Aldo goes, we have a great training camp. He does exactly, you know, as is told, and he keeps his composure and he does everything that, you know, in the cage as he learns. I see a very short night for Jose Aldo. What does it mean to, to, to have something like this and everybody enjoy the moment uh, equally and wholeheartedly? Well, I mean, this, this celebration means a lot to me, obviously, because it's been my dream. It's been, you know, one of my goals to bring everybody together. And, you know, we've been, we've been spread apart, you know, this person has, has his gym, you know, that person has his gym. We're all, you know, like, oh, I want to go train here, that train there, you know, our gym is better. No, there is no hour right now. Like, like I'm telling everybody, I'm putting, I'm putting everybody on blast. Our high fighters are coming together. We're becoming a group, and watch out for us. Manny, I know it's been an emotional few days. Thank you very much for putting uh, great joy in uh, everybody's hearts. How do you feel, man? I feel great, man. I feel great. First of all, I want to thank you guys for, you know, supporting me, having me back of me, man. It's been, it's been not even surprised. I mean, I'm shocked when I walked in, seeing all of my friends, my coaches. Let's get better than this. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Manny, you made a lot of us very proud. Uh, can you walk us through that fight? What you were feeling walking out on that special day? What was going through your mind when, you know, that, that, that door on the uh, cage closed, the bell rang, uh, your opponent is coming at you? Just, I mean, I know it was a short fight, but in your own words, can you just tell us what was going on in your head, in your mind, when all this stuff was transpiring around you? Nothing was going on went through my head, man. The one thing was going through my mind, you know, I had to promise myself, it was do or die fight, fight, fight for me. I gotta go out there, leave everything in the cage. Like I said, I, I don't care I'm fighting Mike Brown. I had to leave everything in the cage, and my plan was, you know, finish him. It's either knockout, TKO, or submission, anything like that. I know he's a very good fighter. He's, you know, he's been around for a long time. He's been a champion before, but in my head, there was only one thing, that I had to win the fight. And plus, it was a genocide day. It was like, it doesn't get, it doesn't get better than that. So I think I did a great job of, you know, staying in the game plan, good coaches, and good strategy, that's all. Manny, thank you very much. And we know there's a lot of, uh a lot more uh, bigger things ahead uh, lined up for you and we just want you to know that everybody here and I'm sure that a lot of the Armenians all over the world uh, are with you no matter what. We love you and uh, thanks, every thanks for everything man. Thank you very much man, I really appreciate it. Look into the camera and let all of the other Armenian professional fighters all around the world, whether it be in Spain, England, uh, Holland, uh, Belgium, what do you want to say to them? Do you want to invite them over or what do you have to say to the people that don't live in LA but have an opportunity if and, if and when they do come to LA? Well, I mean, we do a lot of promotions. We manage our own fighters. We, we have our own gym. So for all the high fighters around the world, if you guys ever need to come to LA, you guys have a home here.